Okay, so change of plans. I'm not going to be doing the pie. But I will be making the Crock-Pot Tuesday. First off, I'm going to wash my butternut squash. Okay, so we're going to peel that boy. Okay, here's my peeler. I'm just going to peel. This is a butternut squash, guys. This is what a butternut squash looks like, if you didn't know. I never actually used a fresh butternut squash before. I always use frozen or spiraled. I buy it already pre-made kind of thing, so pre-cut. So this is the first for me as well. I don't know, I think this is easier just to peel it this way. I guess you could keep, from what I understand, you can uh, eat the skin, but I don't want to eat the skin. My gosh. What an awkward, awkward little guy to peel. Okay, so there's the spaghetti squash. Not spaghetti squash. Oh my gosh! Butternut squash. All peeled up. I'm going to cut the ends off. Kind of looks like a sweet potato. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it in half. I know there's seeds in here. Now I've had this in my pantry for a while. It looks good on the outside. I don't know if that's good in the inside. We'll find out, we'll take it out. We'll take it out and find out if it's actually good. Okay. It's pretty, somewhat dry. It's not rotted. I think we're good, guys. So here's the thing. I was thinking about making like a shepherd's pie with this instead of potatoes. But I looked in the free freezer and all I have was one roll, which is like I think a pound of uh, ground beef. So I can't really run to the grocery store right now. So that's going to be a no for the shepherd's pie. So we're going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with this now. I know it's going to go in the crock pot. Maybe I'll cut it out. Get out. It's slimy and slippery. I know what I'll do. Where is it? We're gonna cut it out. Cut it like hairs. These are fibers, might as well cut it like that, eh? Yeah. Get those suckers out. And for the next one, same thing. A lot of seeds. Maybe I should keep them. So that zucchini um, squash seed uh, sprout that we had in uh, our spaghetti squash sprout that I had in one of my old videos, the one that I planted, actually grew quite well, but it never bear fruit. So at least I tried it. Okay. 
And welcome to the, the Messy Natty Show. Look at the mess. That's okay. We'll fix it after. We'll clean it up after. So now I'm going to cut these into squares, cubes. Yeah, we're going to cut these babies. Okay, let's bring out the big guns. Dun, dun, dun. Do I make you nervous? Do I? Make myself nervous. There's no fingers underneath the knife, so we're good. My finger's here, on top, and on here, so nothing's getting cut except for this. Okay. Actually, a little bit smaller. Let's try this. Nope. Yeah. Not good when it's cold. When it's not cooked. Taste yucky. 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 La, 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 la. <laughs> Maybe I'll make like a soup. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll make a soup. Now for the next one. Hello, my sweets. Wah! Wah! Oh, ha, ha, ha. You are watching Butternut Squash Murder. Chop, 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 chop. This is just fun. I'm just having fun here. One more to go. I don't think it's sharp enough. I need more sharp. I need to sharpen it even more. Okay. I'm going to cut them smaller. And we'll put them in the bowl. And now I have a nice big bowl of butternut squash. So there's a little bit of pre-prep in this recipe. Like I said, I had ground beef, but I'm going to have to cook that up before I put it in the crock pot. Then I'm just going to put the lid on for a bit, a couple minutes. See, there's a lot more liquid. It's nice and moist. And it falls apart a lot better. Now that I put the lid on it for a couple minutes and took it off, it's just a lot better. Plus, it won't tend to stick. I find if I put the lid on, it doesn't stick to the bottom here, and it all, you know, when uh, ground beef sticks to your frying pan. I hate that. I hate that! Hate that! Okay. Now, as we wait for the ground beef 
to cook up. We're going to put two cups of water in the crock pot. Then we're going to put one can of cheddar cheese soup. Then whisk it with a whisk. Let's get some more in there. Just whisk away. This is a concoction. As you can see, because I don't know what I'm gonna make with this, but it's a crock pot recipe. Okay, so now uh, we are going to put a little bit of onion powder. Of course, you know me, I need my onion powder. And we're gonna put some, a little bit of basil, just a little bit. A little bit of I'm getting really fed up with stuff moving around. Now I can't find my paprika. And I know I had some. So I'm putting a little bit of cayenne pepper. A little bit of cumin. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Last but not least, beef broth. Instant stock mix. So I'm going to take two teaspoons, dump it in there. Okay. So that's going to be the base for our dish, I guess. That's not real good. So now I'm just going to dump these in. Now I'm going to get the ground beef. Just going to throw the ground beef in there. There we go. And I'm going to stir it up. Cover it all up nice and good. Oh, I saw a seed in there. Oh, well, won't die. Oh, there it is. Missed the seed. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to put that in the crock pot for four and a half hours at. Oh, I guess I should plug it in, eh? Plug it in. Uh, four and a half hours. Let me just throw it. Choisir. Put it on low. Because everything's pretty much cooked except for these. Uh, butternut squash. So four. Four and a half on low. And that's it. Come back in four and a half hours. Check on, check on that texture of uh, these little guys here. See if it's still hard or not. And I think it should be ready. Well, it looks like it's time to check it out because it's done. And I think it's ready because it's delicious. It looks good. Thickened up a little bit. It's creamy enough. I'll show you what it looks like. It's not just about me, right? There you go. Look at that nice soup. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. I guess I gotta come up with a song for Crockpot Tuesday, too. Crockpot Tuesday. Crockpot Tuesdays. 
I don't know. I'll come up with a song. <laughs> but this is what it looks like, guys. I can't wait to try it. So in my individual bowl, I will be putting grated cheese product. It's Parmesan, made with Parmesan. So this is the Julia stuff. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I'm just, I like their product. So I'm going to put a little bit on there. I know you're probably saying, oh, you can use real stuff. Yeah, but I don't have the real stuff. This is what I got. So I'm just going to mix that up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is going to be so good. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's still very hot, guys. So I'm going to blow on it. It's still really hot, so you can't really taste it. And I find when I make something in a crock pot, it's always, always better the next day. Because all the infusion of the flavors gets, gets into everything, right? But I'll try again. Mmm. Mm. You taste the corn. Ooh, something spicy in there. I put cayenne, cumin. Could be the cayenne. It's not too spicy though, but it's good. Now for the butternut squash. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It almost tastes like a sweet potato. It almost tastes like a sweet potato. Mm. It's got a sweeter taste to it than the corn. And mm. I like it. This is going to be delicious tomorrow. It's delicious now, but tomorrow is going to be delicious. Mm. 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 Okay. So this is a hit. This is definitely a hit. I would definitely recommend this. I'll tell you. Nice, easy, hearty soup. More of a stew of a kind of soup. It's kind of a, I guess you would call it a stew or a soup, but it's more of a stew than a soup, but it's a nice, hearty, thick soup. That's for sure. Mmm. Mm. So yeah, if you have a butternut squash around your house, or you've never tried butternut squash, try making it in soup. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All you need is anything you want for a base, actually. It could be tomato soup, mushroom soup, you know, whatever soup you have. Just put a can in there and put some water in there, you know, and there you go. Mm. Nice and easy. So thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And thank you for uh, joining me on Crock-Pot Tuesday. I know it's been a while since I made a Crock-Pot Tuesday. I'm going to be doing them more often now. So stay tuned for next Tuesday for another episode of Crock-Pot Tuesday. Bye for now.